How to have fun in Minecraft. Are you a Minecraft hater? Are you someone just looks at other people that are having fun and thinking, why am I not having fun? I should be having fun too, but I don't want to play that game. Are you that person? Don't worry about it. I've been that person too, okay? Now, when I've been looking at Minecraft for the last 10 years or so, I always felt that it looked bad, childish, like a mobile game, like something that I would never spend any time on because there's so many other better games out there, right? Right? Um... Wrong. What the hell are you doing out? <laughs> what the hell happened to that guy? He just fell like a freaking rocket. I never thought I'd be so happy to be back in the real world where there's water and regular squids and... Ah! <laughs> so this is a short video where I'm gonna explain why Minecraft is so good and how you, as someone who has hated Minecraft but not played it, or maybe you never jumped in and you're just curious but you never wanted to spend the time. And this is how you're actually gonna join all the other happy people out there at the beach playing ball with each other, whatever you do at the beach, and you're just sitting up there in the shade and going, mm. <laughs> I know what type of person you are, because I am the same sort of person that I just... <laughs> in any case, any case, okay. So here are uh, five tips with maybe one extra tip. Uh. Tip number one. <laughs> this one is a mean one, <laughs> because you already failed. Um, don't look at guides. Look, guides are great, and sometimes we get stuck in games, and we don't know where to go, we don't know how to proceed, or how to, like, break this roadblock that is in front of us. I'm just guessing that this works. Oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus, there's a lot of water in one of these buckets. Wow! Minecraft, for me, has been an adventure that is about exploration and discovery. Now, I had a lot of help from my viewers that sent in a lot of tips on the comments that I was reading and so on and so forth. And that was really cool. And when I did those tips, I had a good time. But the best of times was when I discovered something by myself. Tip number two, have a simple goal. Just build a house dig a mine, find iron, something incredibly simple, F build a bed. Like, just get the simplest of goals and do it. Don't get distracted by everything and just focus on your goal. And then once you get there, get a new goal and just make the simplest of goals all the time. It doesn't have to be anything grand, but Pick a goal and stick with it. Tip number three, explore. I did this. I built a house, I built my bed, I mined for iron, I had all my iron stuff, and then I was lost. I didn't know what to do. I was just walking around going, well, I guess I finished Minecraft then. <laughs> that was not correct. If this is your first world, then you started in one biome. Biomes is like forest or desert. Uh, and there are, I believe, like 16 of them. I've been playing a lot, but I haven't seen all of them. And don't worry about your house, by the way. Just press F3 and you'll see uh, what coordinates you are on. Write them down and then just pick a direction and explore. You'll find some new cool place and it doesn't take forever to build a new house. You can build a frontier house if you want to. But key is go out there and see the world. There is plenty out there to discover. Tip number four, make some friends. Don't worry, I am not talking about real life friends. We're all gamers, we like sitting indoors, we don't want to hear, hey, go out there and be social. I am talking about friends in the game. Huh? What? Are you tagging along? I hope you can tag along. All right, I'll bring you back to my village. You still with me? <laughs> I found a friend. Yes! Yes! Villagers, animals, uh, find them, befriend them, find out what makes them tick. What does a cow want? Can I make a cow fall in love with another cow? Yes, you can, and it's awesome. Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 what? I can show that on YouTube. Come on, you made a little baby cow? No, no. Villagers have a lot more functionality than you think. They can... Oh, I'm... 
don't watch guides. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Tip number five. Now you've done everything. You have uh, you have avoided the guides. You have a goal. You built your house. You explored. You made some friends. And now you're kind of stuck. Every idea in Minecraft can be expanded upon. So anything that you did in the past, take it, make it bigger, make it better. Did you have a wood house? How about a stone house? How about a solid gold house? How about you figure out how electricity works with the redstone? Just take your original ideas and expand them until they feel like kind of crazy. And that's why you see all these Minecraft videos where people are doing the insane stuff because they reach that level where they've done all the basics and now they want to push it. And finally, as an extra tip, this is not going to be tip number six. This is just labeled as extra. I don't know what to call it. P.S. A P.S. tip. This is the P.S. Don't rush it. OK, you have all the time in the world. You can spend 50 days building your house. There is no rush. Do whatever you want to do and don't worry about it. You don't have to like everything about Minecraft, but I'm sure that you will find something in there that you will like because there is so much in there to love. This is how I had fun with Minecraft. I know everyone is different. Some people like guides, some people like to get there to the point immediately. I'm more of an exploration, just walking around, taking a knee, looking at the stars, smelling the flowers sort of a guy. So this is how I had fun. And if you feel like you're kind of like me and you play like me, then Minecraft is an incredible game and you should try it. My name is Kelly Walken. That has been my tips on how to have fun in Minecraft. Take care. Bye bye. Whew.